Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday I got many, many inches of rain. I don't even know how many. It's uh, receded pretty well right now. And it's turned out to be a very beautiful day so far. But we have more moisture on the way and they're saying significant. So that might mean feet of rain out here. But we're gonna get some chores done today while it's beautiful. Take advantage of the beautiful weather. And we've got a new battery to look at today. And there's a real nice trend happening with these new lithium iron phosphate batteries. And that is that the price keeps going down. And this is what we're gonna look at today. 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. They're calling this a mini. And this is from SolarEdge or SolarEdge X. So let's carry this up to the bungalow ha and see what it's made of. And the nice thing about these is they're just lightweight anymore, you know, just barely over 20 pounds. Easy to pick up with their strap and get it to where you want. So let's head on up there. Yeah, ground's a little squishy here. <laughs> uh. Got my planks here to navigate. All right, made it to the shop. Set the battery down, let's go in. So this is not really quite as small as some minis that I've seen, but it's a nice compact little size case. And this is exactly what it showed up with, just this. It came with the M8 terminal bolts on here and a couple of caps as well. And the first thing we're gonna do is check the voltage and then we're gonna charge this thing up. All right, got the multimeter on it. Arrived at 13.28. Just about perfect. And we're gonna tie it into the blue wall here. Got 400 watts of solar running through this system. We'll take the batteries that are currently hooked up out, slip this one in, and charge it up first thing. And while it's charging, we'll take a real quick look at the listing on Amazon that they sent me a link to. Uh, and that's the most impressive thing for me with these batteries. This one, $179.99, well under $200. Uh, love seeing that trend. We did review another one that had dipped below $200, but not this far. So $179.99 for this particular battery. And it says, uh, low temperature cutoff. Max 1200 watt power with 5,000 plus cycles and 10 year lifetime. All right. All right, well that didn't take too terribly long. I think maybe about two hours under the conditions I've got, maybe a little less. Just clicked over into absorption. Behaving just exactly like you'd want to see after a while in absorption. Now only one watt required to hold it at 14.2. And what I did now is I came over here and I turned the inverter off so I won't be drawing any loads on this fully charged battery until we get ready to do the discharge test. So I usually run a few loads up here, but I've turned the inverter off so that won't happen. So there's absolutely no way it can be discharging until we come up here and plug something in and, and then run it out. And looking at the smart shunt, just real quick, 100% full, 14.2 volts and zero amp hours consumed. So that will change when we start discharging and we'll get an accurate uh, read when we drain that battery. So we'll be back in a while and do that. So ever since we got this 
battery up to 100% full. I turned off the solar input so there's been absolutely no charging going on so we can watch how this thing discharges. And we can see they're looking at the app for Victron zero watts coming in. And the inverter has been on 24 seven for the past few days, not drawing much of a load. I've kept a couple of small little loads charging some stuff, but nothing to really speak of just to watch this thing discharge. And right now I do have a light on uh, and you can see we're just pulling 12 watts. Okay, there. Drawing 245 now. Uh, going through this. Coming off that inverter. And putting some excess right here. I can only put 20% more in there. It's pretty full. Typically I just leave that thing at about 80% until I was getting ready to really use it. I'd charge it up. But Okay, so we're drawing 246 watts off of this the most it's seen in days let's go to the shunt real quick took it down one percent real quick but this would go a lot quicker and we can see now where that arrow is 46 amp hours we pulled out of here at 58 percent full so looking pretty good i might like this might let this run a little while just pull some of that power out rob one to fill another one and again zero solar coming in because i don't want to interrupt this test but yeah everything so far i mean it charged up good it's discharging just fine although nothing serious coming off of that but uh We'll take one more look at the what's coming off of the inverter. Yeah, 246 watts, just pretty steady. Oh, and look at that value right there. So it caught me misspeaking that we were fully three days into this. We're fully just over the two day mark. <laughs> so Victron is smarter than I am. Another good, good reason to have some Victron stuff to look back at. <laughs> oh, we're getting so close. State of charge down to 9%. We've pulled 91 amp hours. I think we're going to make it. Still pulling 247 watts. Okay, so the smart shunt says zero left. We're still working. Let's look and see what we pulled. 99 amp hours, as you can see right there, that top right, 99 amp hours. And we're still pulling. Let's see here. We're still pulling 255 watts. And it just clicked over at 100 amp hours, showing zero. Everything's still running, pulling 255 watts. So it's going to exceed its specification of 100 amp hours. Nice. Okay, since it passed its test there and is still running, and I do have a little afternoon sun coming in, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And, well, all I'll do is just reach right up here and start charging that battery. Very good. And getting a whopping 60-some watts coming in. <laughs> but that's all right. It deserves to be charged back up. It passed its test. All right. Well, now we are officially into the third day of the test. I have just a light mist coming down. We'll go in here to see what that battery looks like this morning. Get some final values. Okay, it's kind of dark out there, but we've got 78 watts coming in. And the battery voltage is reading 13.0708. 
slowly charging back up. So I do like this battery, it passed its test. Uh, we didn't do the low temperature disconnect, that's not an issue for me out here. It might be for some of you wherever you live, but I don't bust these apart just to test that. But working well. The only thing I think they need to clarify, because I've searched high and low on the website and in the manual, of course, I don't see an actual uh, time frame for a warranty, so maybe they just overlooked that, and maybe they'll slip that in after seeing this. But other than that, yeah. And the biggest, the biggest thing is that price point. Wow, $179.99. All right, the rain's starting to come down pretty good, and yeah, it's looking dark. We're supposed to get some significant moisture, so I'm going to try and make it down, back down to the house without getting soaked. Thanks for tuning in, as always, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to run down here. Yeah, the sky is going to open up here pretty quick. All right, aloha, everybody. Oh, here it comes.